You've done it. You're finally gonna get on that morning routine. You're gonna wake up at five in the morning, you're gonna crush your workout, you're gonna eat breakfast, you're gonna study, you're gonna go to school and have a great day. Or you thought. The alarm goes off at 5 a.m. and you have no willpower to get up and no intention of doing so. At this point, you just turn off the alarm and wake up at your normal time. You feel defeated for the rest of the day. You didn't wake up at the time you said you were gonna wake up. This lowers your self-esteem. I've been through this scenario many times and I will, sh I will tell you how to wake up early consistently and crush your day and feel productive and feel great for the rest of your day. So here are five tips I have to waking up early. So I've been waking up early for the most part, since I was like 13 years old, maybe even younger, I'm 19 now. So I've been waking up early for like a really long time. And it's not just because I naturally wake up early. I really don't. I can sleep probably 12 hours if I let my body, like I could sleep 12 hours every night if I let my body do so. So this is obviously like a disciplined thing. Like I get up consistently at this time, even if I don't want to but I will, I will show you how to make it easier and make it possible to do so consistently and not just like once or twice here and there. So this is, the first step is like crucial. It is to have a plan for your morning. Like have a plan, like what are you gonna do? When are you gonna do it? Like how are you gonna execute it? So for me, my plan, like right before I go to bed, I make a plan of what I'm going to be doing tomorrow morning. Like last night, right before I went to bed, I started thinking like, all right, how am I going to do tomorrow? Like, how am I going to execute it? And by now I've got, I got a routine down, so I know how to handle it. But for you, it might take a little bit of thinking. Like, are you going to wake up at 5 a.m., eat breakfast, like cook your food, eat breakfast, then go to the gym? Or are you going to like wake up? and then go straight to the gym? Do you need to get a change of clothes beforehand? Like, whatever. Lay out everything that you need for that. You need to have your clothes ready that you need to go wherever you need to go. You need to, you just have to have everything prepared. You can't have, you don't want to make your future self worry about it because that'll just add to the resistance of waking up early. So, the night before, the day before, set up some things that make it easier to wake up early. Like, put your shoes right next to your bed so you can, like, put them on right away. Have your outfit, like, already on. Like, I have my gym clothes. I fall asleep with my gym clothes on. Clean gym clothes. Like, I just put on some clean gym clothes, go to sleep with them on. I wake up, I'm wearing my clothes that I need to go to the gym in. Second tip is hydration and water now there's something about it drinking like a whole glass of water or like a whole cup of water or chugging some water right when you wake up it refreshes you get your it gets your body going you're no longer dehydrated it kind of gets rid of the grogginess a little bit it's not going to be a cure-all but it definitely helps like a little bit and i think implementing this strategy is pretty useful just for health and waking up early purposes now, the th third one, sorry. The third tip is to have your phone or alarm far away from you or across the room. Now, I've been doing this recently. I used to just have my phone right next to me and sometimes I'd snooze because it's right next to me. But if you have your phone, like I put it, there's a desk that this camera's on. I put it on this desk my bed's over there. I have to get up and turn off the alarm. It sucks. So, <laughs> and it gets me up. It gets me ready to go. It just, it gets your body moving. It, you're already up. Like, you probably can't fall back asleep after that. I mean, if you can, props to you. But you have to, you have to plan accordingly. So put your phone across the room. It'll force you to get up and turn off the alarm. So then, like, you won't have an option to stay in your bed and turn off your alarm. Like you'll have to get up. The fourth tip is light. If you can get sunlight, 
into like if you can have sunlight available i don't even know how to say this available to you as soon as you wake up that is ideal but since it's the early hours of the morning it's probably going to be pitch black outside so what i recommend is turning on every single like light you have in your room turn on your lamp turn on your ceiling light have your phone on like look at your phone for like i recommend looking at your phone for a little bit it's just it just helps wake me up but a lot of people don't recommend that so do what you will with that i recommend just having a lot of light especially sunlight in the morning it'll get your cortisol levels up which is like your awake hormone your stress hormone which is like good stress but not yeah anyways the fifth tip is movement you got to get your body moving it's just like the third tip having your phone across the room you got to you got to actually move to get woken up so a lot of people say to get on the ground and do like 10 push-ups right when you wake up what i do is i just start walking around i just start move i just start walking around my room getting things ready I'm like just putting my contacts in whatever i just get moving immediately and that really helps it wakes your body up it tells your brain like hey i'm up i'm not i'm not asleep anymore stop making me tired like you'll still be tired but it with these five tips you will probably feel like a whole lot better waking up in the morning yes it's still gonna suck sometimes yes it's early yes it's dark yes you might not have like a reason to get up that early but you can create a reason for yourself just for like i do it solely for discipline purposes i literally only do it for discipline purposes i don't need to wake up that early but i do because it's it's good for your it's good for your discipline it's good to have a set sleep sleep schedule and it's good to i don't know have a routine of some sort like you know it's good to push yourself and challenge yourself so with that being said i hope you guys like these five tips I hope you implement them in your day-to-day -day lives, trying to wake up early. Goodbye.